it, everybody. This is Dan from The Fundamentals with another unboxing video. This time of a game I've been very excited about for much of the year. It is Bosk, a game of majestic leaves and falling, majestic trees and falling leaves from Floodgate. Longtime viewers of the show or readers might know that I am a big fan of the outdoorsy themed games, and this one is a big one uh, because it is just this beautiful fall aesthetic. It's a game by Daryl Andrews and Erica Buyoris with art by Quan Chai Moria, who has, who's really one of the big, um, uh, big board game artists nowadays. For two to four players, 30 to 45 minute playtime, ages 13 and up. It's got this lovely, I mean, the fall aesthetic, and the, little, the leaves and the trees. Majestic maples to ancestral oaks. Players nurture their trees, aiming to thrive over the course of a year in a beautiful national park. In the spring, players carefully grow their trees, scoring as hikers enjoy traveling the trails in summer. When autumn comes, leaves fall in the ever-changing direction of the wind. Guided to cover the terrain and other players' leaves, points are awarded in winter for the most coverage of each region of the park. Rain your ground in the park to be victorious in Bosque. Very cool. Very, very lovely little game. So, let's open her up and see what's inside. Out you come. I love the logo, by the way. It looks like a national park sign. It even has a cool gradient. So, we have our rule book, which has a fun, which has the fun acknowledgments on the back. A quick setup, which is always helpful and a definition, Bosk Noun, a small wooded area or thicket. Everyone who worked on it. And it's a very nice, lovely book written in that has all the colors and fonts that you'd expect in a national park guide. You gotta love it. And there's an app, so we love apps. Then we have a how to, to set up the trees, how to set up the, the boxes, all that kind of stuff that the game comes with. Then there's the board, which I will set up front of us. Come on then. There it is. It's double-sided, but yes, this is the board, and you have each player starts in a different quadrant of the board, um, where they set up their trails. We have, these are the various leaves that each player starts with. We've got uh, different oaks. This is a maple, this is a red maple. This is a white oak, you can tell because it has a rounded edges, a, a red oak is pointy. Uh, this is a, hmm, I think it's another kind of maple. This is a different oak. We did a tulip tree because being from Indiana, I like tulips. These are squirrels. These are fun. These are like the best maples I've seen in a while. That's, oh, there's an arrow. That's for wind direction, but it's a purple squirrel. Little squirrel. You use these guys, they help with the spreading. Oh, that is disturbing from the front. I don't like that from the front. It's a very thick, weird squirrel from the front. Anyway, from the side, it's a cute squirrel. Uh, you use these guys to help you in autumn to move leaves around and move nuts and that kind of thing, as squirrels are wont to do. Now, the trees themselves cardboard. And these are the receptacles and things. These are very nice, see? I love these. They've got these nice, lovely boxes that you store tree, your trees and your, your, your items and all this stuff in. Um, that is very, very nice. Although I'm not sure what the purple is. The famous purple trees of autumn, I suppose. Maybe it's a kind of a strange national park. This is the wind direction. You see when in autumn, the, when the leaves are turning and the nuts are falling, the wind dictates where things go. And so this is how you establish that. Lots of bags. Love it. Point tracking. And then cardboard. So much cardboard. We have our leaves and a hiker. They all have their own little stand. Nice thick, 
thick, very thick cardboard with these. Very sturdy. You know, and these standees, you know, I, I'm, I, much as I love these minis, uh, a good thick cardboard standee can be just as good because I don't have to paint it. <laughs> More trees. These are lovely. And see, the way the trees work is you have uh, your, your tree, right? And then you have, they're all numbered. And then you punch out these, you punch out, oh, Oh dear. Punch out the middle here. Come on, there we go. Punch out the middle here. Oh. Oh. And nope, that's that's wrong. Right. Did I did I read it wrong? Ah. And then you punch out this one. And then Do this, I believe. Yeah, and that's a tree. And then the way the game would go is you put your tree on the trail and say, "Look at my tree! It's a tree! It's fun!" And then you score and all that fun stuff. And so there's enough. There's trees for everybody, all the different colors, which are quite quite pretty. It's a lovely game. It's a very lovely game for people to enjoy. Um, and the, I mean, the cool part is the way it works out is you can, after you put all the little fiddly bits back in the, back in the box, you, uh, you can use the boxes that gave you, you use them as they're made to be receptacles for the different things. So you can put your trees pre-made in that box there that and then you can put your orange leaves and your well make a quick squirrel in there we'll put it in loose red leaves yellow leaves purple leaves with their trees the stuff in obviously this be bagged up differently and then you take your box and you take your board and you fold it You actually put this underneath these. Stick these on top. Then you put this on top of it. And I probably did this wrong, but you get the gist of it. There's a guy that tells you how to do it. And then. <laughs> Ba -ba. You have a fun little box. So, that is Bosk from Floodgate Games. Uh, I'm really excited to play this, and when I do, I will be back. I will be following soon with a full uh, review of this game. Until then, happy gaming.